everyone so welcome back so today we are going to go in with quite I don't think there's many reviews on this um the Kylie Pro palette so it's like individual shadows and then obviously you pop them um so I'm going to go in with this if you guys want like a full swatch and a video telling you like what shadows I've got and things like that then let me know and obviously we'll do that in a video but this is the palette once again and we're just going to create like a fun look with this and test the shadows out um, so yeah let's jump straight into the video guys this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer in the shade Alabaster and I'm going to just pop this on my lid and then buff it out with a Chloe Morton MUA brush it looks like this and obviously I'm still going through a breakout it is kind of going away but it's going to take like obviously a few weeks uh, if it does work then I will do like a skincare routine at some point just to show you guys because I know um, probably a lot of people go through like quite bad breakouts in the same areas so I will like if obviously if it improves and I'm happy then maybe I'll do like a skincare routine and because there is so now I'm gonna I've just cleaned my brushes and I thought I had like um, alcohol wipes because I ran out of brush cleaner and I just wanted to like quickly get it done so I like went in with I thought they were like alcohol wipes but there was like nail varnish remover so I had to quick, go and quickly wash some of them again because obviously I don't want nail varnish remover on my eyes but I'm gonna um obviously when I put when I pick the shades I will like take out of the pot and tell you what I've used but I think for the first shade I'm going to go in with is like this like I would say like quite a light sickly yellow and it's just this one in the corner and it is in the shade sweet like honey So I really want to see if it's worth the money. I don't have like any of her, other of her, of her eyeshadow palettes because it is quite hard for people in the UK to get them. And then if we do order them off the website, um, like customs is crazy expensive after you've already paid quite a lot for her products. But I didn't see many people review this, so I thought it would be like a good idea to to kind of see if it was worth it. They are blending out really nicely, and um, that sweet like honey is applying. Yeah, guys, this colour is really nice. Like I feel like you, like it blends out really nice, and you can like build up the colour very easily. And I feel like I'm going to go in with the next shade, bottom, like, I think it looks like a cool tone brown, um, but it's just in this corner here. And I'm going to go and put that on, like, just in the crease. And this is the shade, as you can see, it looks like that. This is the shade Hematite. Then, so, like I said, the next shade I was going in is the dark brown. It's called Hematite. And I'm just going to go in with a Morphe 330 brush. It looks like this. I'm going to place this on my outer V and through my... Actually, I'm going to place this on the inner corner and the outer corner. Because I don't know what look I want to do yet. I'm going to do like a spotlight eye because I have quite a nice, like a really nice shimmers. And I'm going to zoom you in. So I'm just going to go in with the inner and outer corner. I'm going to blend it out just maybe to 
getting to blend out a bit better with the shade Topaz, which looks like this. There is like quite a lot of fallout in like when you're dabbing it in, but there doesn't seem to be fallout underneath my eyes yet. I'm just hoping this might help blend it out a bit better. I'm bringing it out like just a tiny wee bit and then I'm going to go in with the Morphe 330 so I've got two of these but one of them's smaller so they're both 330 brush but one of them's smaller so this one is a clean one I'm just going to try and drag that topaz and hematite a bit and then I'm going to go in so I'm going to go and do the same on the other eye and then I'll come back to do like the shimmer and um, the rest of my face. My trusty Morphe 421 brush and I'm in to this colour is calling my name it's like a duochrome it looks a bit purple um, very cool toned, but I feel like it'll look it'll still look really nice. Um, it is in the shade Blizzard, and sorry, it is a metallic, but it looks stunning, and I think on the eye it'll really make the eye pop. So we're gonna go into this that Blizzard shade, and just spray it with some Max Mac Fix Plus. And then I'm going to go back in with the shade um, Topaz and Hermitite on a small Morphe 506 brush just so I can blend out the shimmer. Um, make sure that there's no harsh lines between the shimmer and obviously the matte shade. Sometimes I feel like the best way to apply a shimmer is always with your finger even though it's not like the most cleanliest way to do it. But if you guys can see, it looks so much nicer, like this. I'm going to go back in and blend it out again with the Morphe 506 between Topaz and Hermitite. You know what I actually love that dry. I've seen this really nice shimmer that I want to use and um, that I think will look nice on the inner eye. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe 213 brush and this is like a it's like a silver I would say but it looks kind of purple as well is it yeah it's another metallic and it's called frosty so if you guys can see and I'm just gonna apply this on my inner corner Wow, that is stunning. I am definitely going to do a Christmas look. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but that. So I'm going to go in with the Illuminate and Glow in Champagne. How about, did I use? I'm sure I've used this on my channel. Yeah, so I went in with the gold one on my last video. This is the Revolution one, guys. The Revolution Illuminating Glow Primer. I went in with the gold one, so now this is the pink one. I think I should have gone in with the gold one for this look, but we'll be sweet. And then I am going to use the NARS Soft Matte Foundation in Gobi. And as you know, I had a bit of a hit and miss with this last time I used it. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, 
buff it all out. really nice on my skin there's no issues there I do really enjoy this foundation now that I know I have to moisturize quite a lot before I place it onto my face I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter I think it's like a primer foundation but I'm going to use this as like a bronzer contour in the shade dark number seven Is hair wash day to day as well so I'm really not bothered if I get it in my hair at this point with my concealer which is the NYX can't stop won't stop and um, that's the same one that I used on my eyes in the shade alabaster and I'm just gonna place quite a lot on this out. I know I look crazy, but it will come together. It doesn't really matter if it's like not perfect and things have kind of gone away because you can kind of go back and make it right. I'm just having to go back in here because I've put a bit of concealer there and lost the colour. And that is not good. This is the Benefit Fine 1 1 blusher. And I'm going to go in with this on. I have another stippling brush which I do use if I can find it. There he is. Right, so this is the Fine 1 1 blusher and I'm just going to go in and, like on the stippling brush just because I am a bit afraid sometimes when I use cream products like that you drag along your face that it like drags off a lot of your product that you've already placed down so I've just placed it on a stippling blush and like, I'm just going to push this into my skin it is very subtle I've used this before but not for a while But I do really like it. I just like I think I forget about it because it's like a cream product. But as you can see, it is releasing like the nicest glow. I'm just gonna use this at the top of my forehead just to bring some warmth and then obviously you guys know across the nose and this is the girl meets pearl and I'm just going to take the tiniest amount that's so not tiny onto the back of my hand so that's, I've just put it on the back of my hand and I'm going to tap this onto the places where you would apply your highlight. Subtle. So I'm going to go in now, Makeup by Alex K, if you are watching this, this is because of your makeup I've forgotten about. And this is the Extra Highlighter by Jaclyn Hill. So I'm going to go in with that on a Morphe 510 brush and I'm going to take it from like the top of this because it is very intense. I'm just going to dab up, dab some of it off and go in ever so slightly. As you can see it looks stunning. Kind of a bit higher there. But we'll be fine. I'm going to over the top of my head. And along here. So 
so it is definitely a very popping highlight and then I'm going to go in back in with the Laguna bronzer and I just want to go over my forehead just because I feel like I've lost um, quite a lot of colour when I um, was blending out my concealer so I'm just going to go in with that on a big, my big MAC And you know this is really good because I always thought about buying Laguna but obviously it's a bit expensive so I was like do I buy it, do I not buy it, buy it but this is a good way to test it and then obviously take it up. And then I'm going to go underneath my eyes with the MAX Studio Fix powder um, yeah. just the places where I tend to get oily. So I'm going to go off camera, apply my lashes with some mascara and do my brows. So as you can tell, I am back with my lashes on. I've just used, I got these off Amazon. Um, so these Ali Crown ones, they come in like a big pack like this. And obviously I've just cut them. Oh, I've got a lash stuck to my hand. Obviously I've just cut them to like the length that I want them to be. Uh, I do really like them, they're dead fluffy. And I'm really loving this eye look. So I'm going to go in with my under eyes and then apply a lip. So for my under eyes, I'm going to go in with a Morphe E36 brush. And I'm going to go into the shade, these two here, um, Topaz and Topaz and Hermatite, that was what it was called. And I'm just going to mix the two and then obviously apply them to my under eye and just drag them along. I might actually apply, um, actually no I'm not, I was going to apply a colour but like I think I'm going to name this like a date night tutorial test in the Kylie palette. So I want to keep it neutral and I want to test it again for the colours. Makeup. So next thing I'm going to go in with is my lip. And I'm going to quickly line them in Heart Race. And then I'm going to go in with the shade. This is another liquid lip in Granny Panties by Too Faced. It is a melted mattes. I know this has no resemblance colour wise to the lip liner but it'll work. So this is what Granny Panties look like, looks like. I love it. I think it's like a really um, neutral, cool toned purple and it really suits the eyes. So this is the finished look, guys, after I apply mascara on the bottom lashes. So this is the finished look, guys. I absolutely love this. I think it's stunning and as you can see my eyes I think it really is like a date night uh, or going for a meal look and I definitely think so far this Kylie palette is worth it for the colours that I've tested I am going to go in there's like a few more looks that I really want to test because obviously there is quite a few colourful ones in there so I am going to test them at some point but let me know if there's any colours specifically in the palette that you want me to test but yeah this is the finished look and I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!